Um, the thing is, Artemis is always the smartest person in the room. But what if he had to fight his younger self for something very, very personal? And that is exactly what happens in this book. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome, epic fantasy book to review to you guys. Artemis Fowl, Book 6, Artemis Fowl and the Time Paradox by Ewing Culver himself. And well, let's get right on to it. Artemis Fowl is always the smartest person in the room. But right now, his, her, his mother is sick. A sick with a very, quite fatal fairy sickness. Or something like that, magic sickness or whatever. I don't remember the name. And the thing is, the only thing that can cure it is some brain fluid from a lemur. And that particular lemur, Artemis made extinct a couple of years ago. Talk about really, really awkward. And now Artemis has to go back in time and fight his younger self. Of course, he needs some help. But this time, he has to do something that makes him feel super terrible. He has to trick Captain Short or Holly. Because Holly probably wouldn't help him with, well, that. And basically what <laughs> Artemis did, which was kind of horrible, he knew that the sickness probably came from him, but he blamed Holly and... Holly started to think that it makes sense because Artemis Fowl is a freaking genius and she agreed to come with him. And they go back into the past to fight Artemis the Younger. Which is gonna be fun. And meanwhile, Opal Kaboy, her younger self is being quite the annoying person and she has she wanted she wants the lemur too. And meanwhile, Artemis Fowl the younger is handing over the lemur to the executioners. People who wants to kill basically kill every other animal in the world, which is not that cool at all. And Artemis has to go through a couple of butt clenching, mind clenching little situations and he has to fight his younger self's intellect and his younger self is a tiny bit more ruthless than Artemis actually is and then we find out that the entire thing is a time paradox and not in the way that you think and personally it was super complicated plot first of all this is a little bit on my not so favorite side in the Artemis Fowl series just because it was so clenching it was so like the Mission Impossible movies you know it makes you sweaty and all that disgusting stuff and of course the plot is awesome and everything about this book is awesome it's just it may have been a little too scary for me if you know what I mean and there's also a little bit of an extra book in the book it is about Holly Short's adventure when she was getting tested to become the captain. And Holly Short. And we are introduced to another new character. A character named Turnball Root. Julius Root's brother. A little bit of a fugitive, criminal, and murderer. And possibly? Why would the author, why now? Would he introduce this completely new character? Maybe he was getting bored of Opal. Maybe in the next book, there's a new villain. And it is an awesome book with a little bit of author smartness and a completely big plot twist and Artemis Fowl and Holly Short's little bit of a romance. Yeah, I know, time travel must have jumbled their minds. An awesome book, a must read, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Artemis Fowl, please don't watch the movie, just, just read the books first, then you'll understand.